Cool jeans. There's a video there. A little side note about the video. I teach from fourth period to seventh period, which means I probably am not going to have a chance to get it uploaded before then. So it probably will not be uploaded until almost two o'clock in the afternoon, but I will do my very best to get it on there as soon as I can for you. Okay. Does anybody have any questions about any of that? Oh, yes. You go to school on uh, Tuesday and Wednesday also? What? You go to school on Tuesday also? Yes. Were you physically here, you mean? No. You were not physically here. You were supposed to be working remotely. No okay. So, number two, a solving equation question. Oh, one more thing I need you to start doing. Looking ahead, state exam is coming up, yes? Yeah. ELA is tomorrow. The math one is in, um, it's on May 11th, yes. You need to have your own calculator. So those of you who have accidentally misplaced your calculator, it is important that you find it. Because we gave calculators out this year, we don't have as many to pass out like we have in the past. So please, please, please take some time. Make sure you know where your calculator is because the day of that state test, you are going to have to have it with you. And probably I'm going to have to clear it, but we'll do take care of that another time. Okay. Now we can go back to number two. All right. Number two, solving equations. What's the goal? What's the end goal? What do I want that to look like? No idea. C equals. C equals. I want to see all by itself. Very good. Okay. There's something up there that I absolutely, positively, and I got here right now, have to do first. What is it? Uh, what about the parentheses? Multiply the two. I have to distribute first. Distributing is in a problem. It must happen first, regardless. Okay, so I'm going to go and I'm going to distribute. When I distribute, somebody already told me I multiply. So I'm going to copy this side. What's 2 times C? 2C. Two. Two C. What's 2 times negative 5? Negative 10. Good. Now I'm going to drop my line. How do we handle this problem from here? What do we do? I heard it, but I don't know who said it. Yes, somebody said it. Yes, this is a castle problem. How do I know? Erin, you can turn your video off, honey. Because it's recording, and if you don't, then people are going to be able to see you. But if you need something, holler. Okay, so this side is my castle. So what needs to come into the castle? 2C. How does 2C come into the castle? Minus 2C, minus 2C. Good. Okay. 5C minus 2C is? 3C. 3C. Does anything happen with the 4 right now? No. no, that just comes down. What kind of 10 is that over there? Please don't lose that, right? Okay, now what? Now we get rid of the 4. We get the peasants out of the castle. If you are using your calculator, you do exactly what it says. Negative 10 minus 4. If you're using your brain, then you say, those are the same signs, so I'm going to add them. Either way, you should still get the answer of negative 14. Okay? And then what do I do to finish it off? Divide by 3. And I said, do it's ugly. Actually, I don't have a problem with you leaving the answer like this. Or we could call it negative four and two thirds if you wanted to, which means it's negative four point six 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 repeating. Yes. No. The seven is because the calculator has to round. It can't go on forever, so it has to round. Now, number three is a review of what we did on Friday. What the heck did we do on Friday? We dealt with domain and range. But also functions. Do you remember talking about pets? No. Yes, yes. yes I do. So we made these two towers. 
that I like to call my domain and range towers. Now, back up a sec. Domain is a fancy way of saying what? X. X. And range is a fancy way of saying what? Y. y. You don't have to draw these with me. You can just help me fill them in because you're going to run out of space on your tiny piece of scrap paper. Okay, so what is the X number that I'm going to put in my domain column from this point? Nope. What is the domain number? Just this point. Oh, two, right? What is the domain in this point? Nope. Two. And what is the domain in this point? Okay. Somebody tell me why I only wrote two more times. Right. Within individual towers, you cannot write repeats. Okay? All right, now let's go back. So in the range, I'm going to put seven and eight. Okay. Now what do I do? You do your arrows. I draw the arrows. Good in the count. So two goes to seven. So far, so good. Two goes to eight. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Do I have to go any further no. since it's multiple choice? Dang it. No. That one is not a function. All right, let's try the next one. What number am I going to put in my domain column for the next one? I only put the number three. What about my ranges, though? Two, three, four. Okay. Yes, it is. Three goes two, two. two. And then, and then, is that a function? Yes. No. That's no. How many arrows are coming off that number? Only one, Anna. So, can I ask you a question? Are you noticing a pattern happening? When is the answer no? When there's doubles. When there's doubles, where? In the domain. When there's double numbers in the X column, most of the time the answer is not a function. So look at letter C. Do you have double numbers in the domain? Yeah. Is it going to be a function? No. Now look at letter D. Do you have repeats in the domain? Yeah. In the domain? No. No, your domain is 5, 8, 9. Do you have repeats in your range? Yes. yes. We don't care. The range can have as many repeats as it wants. It's that domain that is important. So the answer is D. Let's go. You got it. Set those off to the side. We're going to recycle those eventually, but I don't want to do it right now. Set those off to the side. We'll recycle them eventually. But I don't want to do it right now. No, because if I let you, then I got to let other people. I'm not going to do it. Okay. So, do you remember how we did this on Friday? But this kind of a lot of work. It's different work. It's not like this kind of work, right? But it is kind of a lot of work. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to look at today is another way to tell if something is a function or not, but it's going to be very, very easy to decide because all of the examples that we're going to look at today are going to be graphs. They're going to be pictures. So when you look at a picture, there is a very easy way to see if something is a function or not. And what we call it is the vertical line test. And they freaked out last period. They were like, what, you have to take a test? No. We're using something to test to see if the different graphs are going to be functions or not. So I'm gonna bring you the paper. Once I get it to everybody, then I'm gonna switch my thing over there so that we can actually do this. This is not going to take us very long. Yes. No, no, because all your other 
or not. Remember that a function is when each x has exactly one y value. Draw several vertical lines throughout your graph. If you can find one place, one spot where a vertical line touches the graph two or more times, then it is not a function. So there's two examples there for you to look at. So the first example, we have this big U shape there, yes? Okay. Now, I'm going to go get, I used the green marker earlier and they said this is where they look the same. So I'm going to switch my color. And what I'm going to do, do the red one right there, is I'm going to go, no, it's not a whiteboard marker. Not a whiteboard marker. Jacob! Not a whiteboard marker. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw that first vertical line. How many times do the orange and the blue intersect? Five. One, One time. Right here, correct? Okay. So, so far, so good. Now, we erase that line. We don't worry about that point anymore. Okay? And we draw another line. How many times do that orange and blue intersect? Two times. Twice. One. One time. One time. Right there. I told you about Jacob's stuff. Just set it down. So so far I've drawn two vertical lines and they each have touched that U one time. Alright, let's use the y-axis because the y-axis is a vertical line. How many times does the y-axis touch that U? Two. One time. How many times does this touch that blue? Two. One. And how many times does this touch? Two. One. Okay. Every single time, that vertical line only touches one time. That means that this guy is a function. That's special. Okay? Now look at the no example. So first thing you're going to notice is that I took my U and I turned it sideways. Didn't I? Yeah. And then I took my nice orange vertical line and I drew it down there. How many times do those touch? Two. That's what two looks like. Do you see it? Yeah. Do you see how the blue and the orange intersect right there and right there all at the same time? One vertical line touches that you two times. That's when it's not a function. That's not special. Yes, special not special. Got it? Okay. So now let's look at some of the examples. Now, I'm going to be very honest with you. The reason this is up here is because most of the time I actually don't draw the lines. I use my pencil, which I'm using this so that you can see it a little bit better. I use my pencil and I just kind of pass it through the graph to see what we pick. Let me see if I can make this a little bigger. Bigger. Okay, so let's start with three because I think three is an easy one. You ready? Yeah. Sure. I'm going to start on the left side. Right there, how many times does my marker touch that circle? One. one time, right here. But what happens the minute I move it over like this? It touches twice. It touches there and it touches there. So what you're going to write for number three is n f for not a function. All right, let's look at number two. What the heck, we'll work our way backwards. You ready? 
Mm -hmm. I'm going to start here. How many times? One, 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 it stops. One, one, one. So what can you tell me about number two? It's a pen. It's a F for function. <laughs> what about number one? Um, no. No. Number one is tricky. I'm going to tell you that I do not believe... <gasps> See how it kind of looks like there's a part right up and down right there? Yeah. I don't think I don't think they mean it. I think they mean it to be more like this, but it's hard to get the computer to do that. So I think how many times does it touch? One. How many? 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 One. Ever more than one? No. No. It's a function. So what is it at? You do. What about four? <laughs> That's a knot. Why not? How many times would my pencil touch that graph? It looks like at least four. So that one's definitely not a function. What about five? Five is a function. What about six? Can you wait before you go on to the back? Can you look up here real quick? Because there's one kind of line that they like to try and trick you with all the time. Usually, lines are functions. There's only one time that a line is not a function. And that is, so here's my graph. The green part is my graph. Yes? Yes. Okay. The blue part is my vertical, is my graph itself, like the squiggly and like this and like those, okay? So if I take my vertical line and I put it on top of my vertical line, how many times does it touch? Two. Uh, so oh, twice. Is it more than once? Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's actually every single little point in there they actually have in common. So it's millions and millions of times. Is a vertical line a function? That's the one kind of line that is not a function. A vertical line does not pass the vertical line test. Isn't that kind of crazy? No, it's not. So if it's a vertical line, it is not a function. All right, on the back side, I want you to answer the question. Well, here's what we're going to do. Not that I don't trust you, but I don't trust you. Uh, we don't. Not all of us read very well. Not that you can't. You just don't. You just kind of skip over it. See, I okay. So I'm gonna read the questions for you, and you are gonna pick the right answer. Don't say anything out loud. You pick it on your paper. All right. And then we'll go over the answers. Are you ready? Okay. So number one, I want which one is a function. Which one is special? Only one of them. Is special. Oh, circling. Wait, it's only special if it crosses twice? No, it can't cross twice. It's only special if it only touches one. Can we do number four while we're right there? Yes. So number four says which graph is a function? No. Circle it. Don't tell me. Circle I don't know any of these. Number two is which one is not a function? Number two, you're looking for the one that is not a function. Number five, you want the one that is a function. Is a function for number five. I don't know. Oh, wait, yeah, I did. And then finally, number three is which one is not? Which one is not a function? Wait, there's, 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 there's,
There's one that should be very clearly not, and there's one that you might not recognize. All right, let's work our way. And we'll start at the top again. Okay, so again, what do we want? Do we want it to only touch once, or do we want it to touch lots of times? Once. Once. Okay. In number one, which one of those four graphs, A, B, C, or D, only touches once ever? D. 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 Which one? D. 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 Like yeah. dog. I knew it. I got that right. Now, let me show you why the other ones are not. Here's A. See where it touches? And then C is a vertical line. C is a vertical line. We just talked about that one. And look at B. How many? Two. Good. Let's do four next to it. Which graph of a relation is also a function? Which one? B. B, like boy. That is correct. This one has two, and we've already seen the circle in the oval one. What about number two? A. Which one is not? A. A is not. Because it touches. Two or more times. Left side, zip it. Number five, which one is a function? A. A is a function. And I'm going to tell you, last period I was helping one of the kids and I looked at B and I was like, what the heck? B is also a function. You know why? Because I didn't see the U at the bottom. Then when I went to draw the vertical line, I was like, oh, look it. Because if it was only that, that would be a function. Yes. But because there are two parts to that graph, that's why it's a yes. And finally, number three, which one is not? B. Which one? A. 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 Oh, is it not? I'm is done. not. I said that. A no. is not. Okay, now, stop. Listen to my directions, please. Very few of you did what you needed to do last week as your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday assignment. So for the remainder of class today, which is about 12 minutes, you need to get on your Chromebooks. You need to go to week 29. Mallory, you did it. Ella, you did it. Um, go to week 29. Paige, I think you did. Yeah. Go to week 29, and the assignment was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday assignment. It was one three-day assignment. That's it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I'll be there in a minute. That is what I want you working on for the remainder of the period. I want you to go back and do whatever that one thing is I told you not to do. Remember? Before break, I said you don't worry about this. Oh. Okay. Get on the diet salad. All right, Aaron.